So we're trying to decide between going back to bed and going fishing. But John's getting pants out, so I think we might be going fishing. Mm -hmm. All right, gonna pants up, hit the river. Just washing my hands in the river so I can put some uh, fish paste on my lures because they probably smell like human and I don't want them to smell like human. I haven't actually decided if this stuff makes fishing any better yet, but I had decided that my hands smell, especially when I've been out here for a while. Anything I can do to get my human smell off this lure, I'm probably going to be benefited by. That's fish paste made in Oxford, Michigan. Here we go, we can at least start off with a little fish paste on there. Let's try and hide the fact that we're incompetent fishermen. We might paddle up river a little bit and work our way back down. Uh, cause we're lazy. Not lazy. If we were lazy, we wouldn't be doing this at all. Right. Uh, we just don't want to spend our whole time fishing, worrying about coming back. We're just going to spend the first part putting in all the effort to get up there and then work our way back and then be done when we get here. Hey John, how far up the river do you want to go? Do, do you want to go... Do you want to go just around the river bend? Yes, I do. Just around the river bend. I look once more just around the river bend. Probably the most racially insensitive movie that came out in my childhood. Now, see, the natives fighting back against their genocide is totally equal in, in badness to them being genocided. They shouldn't fight back. How dare they? Is it a fish? John caught a fish on his birthday, birthday fish. Need help? Yeah. I'm coming. Right. I'm gonna give you the net with the fish in it. Oh. Teamwork. John got a fish. John's just working and getting his fish unhooked. Beautiful fish. Yeah, We're just gonna have to paddle like quarter mile back upstream, but it was worth it for a birthday fish for John. Oh, there you go. There you go. Look hey. at that birthday fish. That's John's fish. John's fish for his birthday. Look at that. It's a nice fish. That is a hefty fish. We are. Just left out. Otherwise. So that's John's birthday fish. Happy birthday, John. Yeah. We're gonna let him rejuvenate for a second. And then when he gives a good kick, we'll, uh, you know, let him go. Good job, John. We've caught fish pretty much like every time we've gone fishing this year almost. Yeah, we're doing good. This is a good year for us. So we're just gonna paddle back into camp, maybe do some uh, lunch of some sort. Look at our firewood situation and uh, chillax. I think that's the best way to put it. Birthday chillaxing. It just keeps raining. Every time we think it's going to slow down, it doesn't. It's only like 4.30 in the afternoon and it is getting dark. We're just waiting it out in this tent, man. Woo! 
adventure. It's raining still. It is still raining, but uh, we're, we want a fire. So we processed up some wood. We're gonna have ourselves a fire even though it's raining. We are adventurers. When we want fire, we have fire. That's just how adventure works. It's gonna be a delight. So we just put two of our wetter logs in a V, our big ones, and we split up some stuff to get to the dry wood on the inside. Uh, and so then we put a dry base and a bunch of little sticks and birch that we found on a down birch limb. And then we're just gonna cover the top of that with a bunch of dry wood and we have a bunch of fat wood that we're just gonna jam in the base of it and make it work. So this is our fat wood. Fat wood is resinous pine wood. It's got pine resin in it, and pine resin lights real easy. But it's not good for a lot of other things, so you usually can pick it up. Uh, you know, it's going to be a slow go because a lot of the wood's wet, and if it wasn't wet, it's uh, getting wet from the rain. But uh, yeah, you know, we got fire, it's going to keep going. We just got to keep fanning it where we need it, where we know it needs a little help. Keep putting dry stuff in the flames. So now that we've got a good and earnest fire going, we've taken our big wetter logs, laid them around the outside, not so they catch fire, but so they can start to get rid of some of the moisture stuck inside them. And we're just gonna keep building the fire in the middle up, and eventually they'll be dry enough. You know, we'll know when they're dry enough because they'll, they'll catch fire. Burn. And then we can make dinner. Yeah, and the rain's actually started to die down. It's still raining, but. Not nearly as much, which is nice. Way better trying to cook dinner in the dry than the wet. What's dinner tonight? Uh, hamburgers and brats. So we got some uh, cheddar brats cooked, and now John's just flopping some burgers on the grill. We feel real vindicated this trip because we've watched these guys come back and just anchor like 10 feet off in front of our canoes for days now and not catch anything where we've been catching fish, so... It's nice to be able to cook up some nice meats, you know. Victory meats. Victory meats as they pull off in shame once again. And the fire's still going great, and the meats are cooking wonderful, and we got brats, and we're happy. Happy birthday, John. Thanks. We're gonna see if this meat hook works on burgers. We think it sounds ridiculous, but we're gonna try it anyway. Nah, it doesn't, it just goes right there. So anyway, I got this spatula to flip these burgers. You wait for the glisten at the top with the juices coming up through, and then you give it a little, give it a little goosey goo. There's always a little adventure, even when we cook. We're going for that Burger King charbroiled taste. I was poofing, and John just screamed, "Come quick!" And here he is, disturbing my personal time to catch this monster. Jeez. Well, come up here and show us. Ooh. Holy crap. Could you have asked for a better birthday fish than that? Look at that. Whew. That is a ridiculous bass, John. Look at that fish. Heck yeah. Good job, John. Some evening fishing. People on the pontoon, pontoon don't know what they're doing. They really don't. Oh, we're going to put this monster back. Bye, friend. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to John. Happy birthday to you. John's birthday, we got cake and candles, he got fish. What a great adventure. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, John. We're going to let him blow out his candles, and then we're just going to eat cake and go to bed. What a great night. Great night. Cake and beer. You should blow your candles out. Night, guys. Night. So we got camp packed in the boats, man. Well packed up, we're gonna head out of here. The uh, kind of not too long of a paddle out. Now we got a couple hour paddle out. Uh, I've got to head off to a fly fishing class, and John's got to get home and enjoy the last of his birthday weekend. Heck yeah.
So thanks for watching us. If you liked it, or even if you didn't, you know, give it the thumbs up. Click that subscribe button, wherever it is. It's been MI Adventure Life. Thanks Thank for, watching, for watching, guys. That's what my wife would have said if she'd have saw us do the synchronized thanks for watching. She'd have been like, you guys are cute.